I want to demonstrate how you do break-even analysis on the HP 10B2 Plus financial calculator. I've um, demonstrated this on the Textus Instruments financial calculator, and I thought I'd uh, also do a demo here on the using the HP calculator. So here I have this spreadsheet, and it lists quantity sold of an item, the fixed cost, variable costs, and price. So here I've put some assumptions. I'm assuming that the fixed costs are 100000 the price is $45, and the variable cost is $20. So clearly if you don't sell any units, you simply you have no variable cost, right? You also have no revenue. So what happens is, is you lose $100,000. If you sell 1,000 units, you still have the same 100000 in fixed cost, but now your variable costs are going to be $20 times 1,000 units, or $20,000. But you're also going to have some revenue, uh, $45 times 1,000 units. You're going to make 45000 And if you do the math, what happens is, is that you're losing 75000 right? Because here, the price exceeds the variable cost by $25 for every unit you produce, you earn $25 in revenue. Since you're um, producing a thousand units, you're going to earn an additional or a profit of $25,000, which goes to reducing the fixed cost. Now, you can see, and the math isn't very hard, if we want to figure out what the break-even point is, where's the point where we earn exactly zero dollars, zero profit, right? We don't lose money, we don't make money. And you can do that by using this formula, fixed cost divided by price minus variable cost. And if we just did the math, and you can do it, it's quite easy to do, right? 100,000 um, divided by, right, 45 minus 20 is 25, and we get 4,000 units. All right, which is what we get here. If you'd like, and that divides pretty easily and stuff, what you have here is you have a break-even worksheet. So above the K percent sign, CFJ, you see there's a little line here, and it says break-even. I don't know how well you can see it on the, um, on the screen, but up here, these are going to use the blue keys. So you're going to have to use this shift key. Units, SP is selling price, VC is variable cost, FC is fixed cost, and profit. So if we want to do break-even analysis, it actually has a worksheet. We want to clear the workspace. We want to make sure that nothing has been typed in here from before. So we hit this blue shift key, and above that down here is clear memory and we hit four because right next to this, and again, it's a little hard to see on the screen, it says BRK. That's the break even worksheet. So if I want to break even, I want zero profit. So let's type in zero, and again, the shift key so we can put this in at profit. The fixed cost is 100,000. So again, you have to hit the shift key here to get these blue um, functions. Fixed cost is 100,000. Variable cost is 20. And selling price is 45. And hopefully I've done that right. And we can compute by hitting the shift the units and we get 4,000 units. So if we're more interested in knowing how much um, profit you're going to make if you have, sell, let's say, 10,000 units, again, we could just look at this row right here, or we could do it on the financial calculator. So rather than looking for zero profit, we could say, let's put in 10,000. Let me see if this works. 
I don't think we have to clear the memory. We just change the units and then we compute the profit. And we get 150,000 in profit, which is in fact what we get here. So this is one of the ways to do the calculation. Um, if you want break even, you put in zero profit. If you happen to know the units, the selling price, the variable cost, and the fixed cost, you can figure out the profit. So handy feature, um, you know, not super difficult to do, you know, in a spreadsheet or just using a calculation. But if you happen to be taking a test, this you may find this to be um, quite handy and quite a bit faster than typing in all the numbers yourself.